I know this is what you guys have all been waiting for, to actually see what my C5 Corvette does on the track with our signature track weapon cam at my home track at New York Safety Track. I picked a track day that's a private track day with a bunch of my friends and run by my buddy Art. And, you know, there's not a whole lot of cars that are here today, so we're going to get a lot of track time and we should have a lot of open space. But it's always fun to meet new people at these events and to get on track with your existing friends and have a blast. It's just always a great time. Anybody that's ever been to a track day knows this is the place to be if you love cars. This is early in the morning. There were still more cars that showed up, but that Huracan, the 911 GT3 Touring, and this F80 M3 were all there early with me. I'm setting up. I got the tent. We got the trailer. My buddy Raul brought his Hyundai today. He's going to try that out on the track for the first time, so we're excited. If you're looking for a great way to support our channel, check out lowboostfilms.com. Not only does this support the channel, but you'll look great while you do it as well. We have a great selection of different types of apparel and merchandise that you guys can buy. I also have a selection of car parts and tools that we've reviewed on the channel that we know work well for sale on there as well at a good price. So make sure you check it out. First track day with the track weapon cam here at New York Safety Track. Private track day with some friends of mine. And uh, we got some really cool cars out here right now. It's a 911 GT3 Touring. It's ripping down the straight. I got my mini bike because you get around so much easier the track with the mini bike and the Corvette. And it's first session ripped off a 139.7 and I got into some traffic. So with my old personal best being 139.5, hitting traffic and getting 139.7, I really do think if the car stays together that I will be my personal best with the track weapon cam. It's got a ton of power coming out of the turns. Whereas I used to just be able to smash the gas pedal coming out, I gotta modulate now because it definitely will kick on all the, all the traction control or burn tires out on me. So. I have to modulate the throttle a little bit better and I think I could crack off my best time. It's definitely noticeably better coming out of turns, like significantly. Here comes Miguel. Yeah, I would drive it and let it cool off. I know you guys are looking at my mini bike. I have an entire build series here on the YouTube channel on how I built it and painted it to match my C5 Corvette. I have a bunch of videos on this thing. It's awesome to take around the track. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're into videos like this because you'll love it. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of action here because always the best laps are the clean ones with nobody else on track and those are never as interesting. But here's me coming around 18, uh, coming around a 911 GT3 Touring. Really great car, great driver. He's awesome. Uh, really nice to let me buy. And if you see way in the distance there, there is a C8 Z06. That's right. C8 Z06 we're on track with. So I really was determined to try to chase him down. Um, I had a pretty decent lap here, uh, still just trying to find the balance on the car, still kind of learning the power with the cam. I do feel, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, I feel like the car doesn't rotate as well with a full tank of gas. I feel like half a tank of gas, this thing rotates so much better than it's actually doing now. The majority of this track, I'm in third gear. I'm in third gear here, there's only one spot that I'm really in second gear, 
and uh, you know coming around this turn here and most of them I'm around 3500 RPM which is right the sweet spot for the track weapon cam for me here coming up and over the hill cresting it I see some black in the distance really starting to chase down the C8 Z06 now obviously if it was a really good driver the C8, C8 Z06 is just gonna absolutely demolish me but this guy's you know a newer driver on track I have a lot of laps here so it's not surprising that you catch somebody like this but uh, you know at this point I'm kind of coasting here and you know word to the wise when you guys are doing track days uh, it's always good to let somebody buy especially if they catch up to you like that if they can catch you they're faster than you uh, and that wasn't the case uh, here what this guy did because you know I'm, I'm sticking I'm not trying to come up around him or get close to him because I don't think it's good track etiquette but I'm excited that I, tra that I chased him down. If you see here, he actually does put his arm out to give me a point by. But he doesn't let me by. <laughs> he takes off. <laughs> he puts buses on me. Buses on me, which I think is hilarious. Uh, you know, if a marshal would flag somebody for that and tell him to let me by. Uh, but, you know, it's okay. This was my last lap anyway. But I ended up catching right back up to him because he breaks early. And I had him again by turn four. So it is what it is. It's fine. But it's always cool to chase down cars like that. And I'll shut up now so you guys can watch my best lap. I honestly was so pissed off because I really butchered that last turn. I had a low 138 in there had I taken a couple of corners differently. But I want to highlight this here so you guys, just so you guys could see exactly what proper track etiquette looks like. In front of me is Amir. Um, his brother actually is the one with the GT3 Touring. He has a Huracan Performante in front of me. It is a very, very fast car if you guys know uh, Lamborghini Huracans. Um, he's not pushing it all the way. Uh, you know he's trying to make it home he's not going crazy in the car uh, but because of that I'm I am coming up on him a little bit and uh, he does what the proper track thing to do is if somebody is, is is at a faster pace whether the car is actually faster or not he sticks his hand out and lets me buy that is proper track etiquette doesn't matter if you're in a Miata a Maserati a Lamborghini or Corvette if someone's at a better pace than you you just stick your hand out let them buy so they can continue on your on their lap that's great track etiquette by Amir and other people should take note of that because that's classy. This isn't wheel-to-wheel -wheel legit racing for money. Uh, this is uh, HPDE day and we're all trying to go as fast as we can but also do it safely and all get home without wrecking into each other or somebody else or off the road. So that is how you do it on an HPDE day and you can have just as much fun as you could anywhere else. It's awesome.
If you are interested in coming to one of these invite only track days, reach out to me on Instagram and I can put you in touch with the guy that runs it. Uh, he doesn't do it to make money. He, he doesn't charge a lot for the day. He's just trying to break even so everybody can have fun and do it inexpensively and safely, which is awesome. Thanks, Art. So I really think I have a ways to go with this cam. Now that I have extra power, I can rotate easier in turns that I couldn't before. So I think the next time I go to the track, I'll even be able to get out of the turns even faster, get through them even faster, and have an even better lap time. If you guys want more information about our signature track weapon cam, I'll put a link to it in the description below and an entire description on the specs of our track weapon cam. You guys can get it on Cam Motion's website and throw it in your car. I also think in addition to it being a really good track cam, I think it'd be great on the street just because it has a lot of torque. I know somebody bought one already and put it in their turbo LS swapped pickup truck, which I think that'd be really cool to do too. Uh, you can still wind the car out to 6,500 RPM, but you got a lot of power down low for tire shredding torque, and it's really good for getting out of turns. I think it'd be great in a bunch of different applications, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my track breakdowns. Uh, you know, sometimes it's kind of boring just to watch a lap and me narrating over a little bit of it just to try to go through with you guys what's going on in my head on track I feel like is informative but let me know if it's not and I won't do that again uh, but let me know if you like it because I'll do more stuff like that if you want me to do lap breakdowns I'm making these videos for you guys and whatever you guys want to see I'll try to make happen for you and I'm more than happy to do what you guys tell me to do because you're the ones watching I wouldn't be making these videos if it wasn't for you so thank you guys very much for watching in the meantime check out these videos that I already have ready to go